you too what's going on everyone it's been such a hot minute i miss y'all i don't get the opportunity to really post much on youtube i have to for all my tiktoks believe it or not i got a recording the car but now i have time to show you the starting picture cat that i had in the be very beginning of the year and guess what i found a faster way to actually grind this so we're in the picture beginning part and now we're obviously gonna pick a picture break affinity and then obviously you're gonna pick starting picture the pitches doesn't really matter the motion your guys are going to use i'm pretty sure it's still in, in here because these motherfuckers keep pa patching it where is it oh i gotta find it these motherfuckers patch everything to grind this shit as fast as possible we're going to go with my boy this man's name is Juan Den. <laughs> uh where the fuck is it where is it i don't know my alphabet oh my god did they get rid of it oh there it goes oh day holy shit that took me so long we're gonna use oday's motion when you grind a program obviously if you already completed it you're gonna have everything so what we're gonna do is that we have the houdini that's the break affinity that's how we're gonna have everything involved the perks we're going to use break one because we want the stamina boost the rest of them we're going to have velocity affinity besides the fourth one any of the fourth perks you see they always give you a negative so you don't want that you don't want negatives the pitches we're going to use four seamer believe it or not you can actually use 102 not online because that we have the fuck, what is it called? The pulse pounder. In game, you can have one on one, which is pretty much the same. Our secondary pitch is going to be a slider. What I find with cutters is that cutters are too fast, and while sliders are basically they break the same way. So you want that speed differential. Oh my god, Le Sinker. And then obviously we're gonna have the screwball, the nastiest pitch in the game, and the circle changeup. Why? Because it tunnels the exact same way as the sinker. The equipment. We have pitchers, use well kept secret, plus nine hits per nine that's like the best one in the game cleats look at the stamina look at the hits for nine that's all you care about for like equipment for pitchers you want stamina and hits for nine but same thing here we want the stamina and hits for nine everything else doesn't matter now i'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your build as fast as possible the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look up a roster to make this a lot easier for everyone involved i don't want to have to do it against your fucking beginner against the computer and they're sweating fouling off pitches create vault rosters we're going to look up road to the show this is exactly how you do it i'm going to show you road to the show obviously it's phillies we're going to search and then any one of these is fine i already have one downloaded so that's what we're going to do then we're going to start a new road to the show set up my um, my ball player the one we were just on then you go here load save rosters and then the uh, road to the show grind phillies now right here what i usually do is just pick the last option not really but i know what type of ball club i like to play for and this is going to be like oh what do you have in mind just go all the way down it's going to say i have one team in particular pay attention to the team that it asks you because then you know you guys know nl east phillies so it's national league because not the yankees nl east and we're gonna go to the phillies so now we're back into the picturing menu right now this is two options there's either you go for a new build that you have not even started the program or the other one that you finish the program and you want to create a new build like let's say for a starting pitcher or a reliever i'm gonna show you guys the first way the way how most people are gonna do it now late in the year is just to switch programs so you see i already have the diamond affinity obviously now i need you guys to understand this one important part about broder show in general people do not like to touch sliders i have no idea why this makes it so much faster this is for like XP, right? You do all this, copy my uh, sliders, how you guys will want to, pause the video if you need to. You lose half the XP, gameplay XP, for modifying these sliders, but guess what? All this program XP, you're gonna get and you're gonna make it way faster because you're striking out more dudes, it's less time consuming, and you can just finish through the starts every single time now. That half XP is just kind of reductive because now you can just do more programs and you still run into the cap anyways. You can only get 60,000 XP per day. Like, I already have, like, almost 400,000 XP in the current program, believe it or not. So we load into a game, and now you may be thinking, oh, we're just going to pitch the whole way through and just get our stats that way. But you're not. When you finish with all these programs, just simulate it to the end, bro. There is no reason to play this. Get out. It's a clubhouse. Now you see your progression. Look how much progression you got on everything. Look at this. 
everything's upgraded. And you, I didn't even play one game. I got nine innings, nine innings, eight, eight hits. I can't fucking speak anymore. 11 strikeouts. Look, everything's going up. So why even play it? There's no point. What you do afterwards is once you finish simming, you, do, you go through your bullshit talking with the coaches, you know, they, they act like they fucking care about you. Now you just do your bullpen. And for the bullpen, honestly, all you're doing is just working on the pitches themselves. Don't worry about like the primary pitch. Like, so the primary pitch I have is the four seam fastball. When you sim through a game, it's going to just do the primary pitch, whatever it is. So it's four seam sinker, slider, whatever you have, fucking knuckleball. So we're going to work on every single pitch that's not a, uh, your primary pitch. And pretty much that's all you do the entire way. If you're just trying to switch from like a reliever to a starting pitcher, you know, the other way around. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it starting from scratch. Don't worry that I finished all these. I just want to show you guys the example. So you see the six innings pitch, 10 strikeouts, all these right here. This is all you're going to focus on. So when you're on the bronze program, play six innings, make sure you get the 10 strikeouts and then you're going to sim out and quit. When we go to the silver program, we do six innings, 12 strikeouts, get the 12 strikeouts and then sim out for the gold nine innings pitch and 14 strikeouts then the diamond nine innings 16 strikeouts and then boom 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 all this xp all the stubs now for the settings i actually use in game beginner 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 you could get away with rookie with these sliders if you really want to but i just play on beginner classic interface I'm telling you right now classic interface you're not gonna want to play this <laughs> i'm telling you straight up and i got another reason why later this is the rest of my settings if you guys are interested when you're at actually grinding though you want to have a primary slider and the reason why i say this is because when you're spamming x actually let me go to the game show when you're in a game you just want to spam x just spam x the computer will not hit it just press x the entire game you'll throw thoughts on the corners every single time and it's literally this simple now I got an extra tip to show you guys, and it's using the beautiful app called the Remote Play. I'm a PlayStation player. Just obviously with Apple, they have the app for there. I don't know how it is for Xbox or Switch. For a Switch, it's a lot easier because you know you can actually bring the fucking console with you. The reason why I say Remote Play is because this shit is very fucking boring. Once in a while, they'll hit a home, uh, home run. You know, they get a little bullshit hit like that, but you know, at the end of the day, it's like, this is the fastest way you're gonna do it. And also, that's why we're using O'Day because he has fast motion in game if you feel like you want to just like work on a certain pitch by the way they just spam the same pitch like let's say like our circle pitch so now we're going to spam change ups the same process and yeah that's gonna end this video guys i appreciate y'all watching subscribe to the channel for more mlb the show content when i can i'm mostly going to be doing cat builds and all that because let's be honest dd gameplay it's kind of boring if you see the same debuts over and over again not taking shots at anyone but yeah guys i will talk to you guys later